Thank you, God. I'm glad I've seen you. Wish I could say the same. Mrs. Brogan. Oh, I know. Right. Mrs. Brogan? Um, I think it's me you're after him, say. Hi, Julia. Hi, love. Hello, Julia. Oh, hi, love. Hiya, Julia. Hiya, love. Hiya, love. Morning, Mr. Farnham. Hi. Hiya, Dave. I'll be there as soon as I can, Mrs. Farnham. You, Dave. Hiya, love. Hi, Julia. Come in. Hiya, love. Hiya, love. Hiya, it's only me. Oh, hiya. Hello, Julia. Oh, lovely. How are you, Dave? Hello, love. Are you trying to put me in an early grave or something? If you want some tittle-tattle, I'll introduce you to Julia Brogan. I'm very pleased to meet you. It's not the old girl who works in the hairdressers. I'm a slave to me corns. Oh, you've met her then? I know a life story. Oh, my God! You remember there, Jase? What, the cooey woman? Yeah, she could have been a top singer if she hadn't got pregnant with our genie. Reenie! Next thing you know, we'll have Julia Brogan and a flame of mint imperials. You hear on? Are you ready for me? Oh, that sounds promising. Do you mind? I'm not that desperate. She's not my wife. Too true, I'm not. And, eh, there's no need for you to sound so horrified, Ron Dixon. You should be so lucky. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Ashame of it. Oh, hello, love. Are you all right? I might have found you a buyer there. Does that mean I get some remission? I made up for you. I got a postcard from Peter this morning, all the way from Simbiwa. That's Zimbabwe. Oh, well, whatever you call it. You know that place near Rhodesia. They said they want to see me Friday, said they've got a proposition for me. Oh, maybe they want you to go back to Balti. <laughs> Julia, it's Bali. How many more times have I got to tell you? I'm surprised that you lot didn't end up in some Balti prison for indecent composure. He's made mistakes, hasn't he? We all have, Julia. That new coming here was one of them. What was that, Jimmy Corkill? Do you know what? I'm ashamed to call your family Lindsay Corkill. Julia? Well, you don't listen to her, love. I've no idea what you're talking about. You don't know anything about it. Oh, don't I? Well, just let me tell you. I oh, know... Julia, I don't think this is the time. Are you having peace with this or what? Yes, please. I've heard all about you womanising, Ron Dixon. You're getting yourself a reputation as a bit of a gigolo. Oh, Julia. Ron's just been telling me he's got a spare ticket for a country and western evening. Oh, I love WC. That's what we call it, don't we, Ron? Uh, C and W, actually. Thank you. That had nothing to do with us. Oh, yeah, well, I've got my own opinion on that kettle of worms. All right, you win. Oh. Well, don't worry, love. Nothing can be as near Bracken as having a baby, believe you <laughs> me. Oh, I mean to say, I was there the day I really was born. <sighs> well, you're a mother, aren't you? Of course I'm a mother. Well, you would be there, wouldn't you? Well, how else could she be born if I wasn't there? <sighs> oh, just think. You and me producers. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I feel like Rogers and Frankenstein. <laughs> Hang on. I'm just giving a pepper talk here. Hi, Julia. Hello, love. I'm just saying to your financier that he who hesitates is lost. And this girl can win, despite being a core kill. Who was that weird, um? It's like an explosion in a mattress factory. <laughs> oh, here he is, Flash Harry. Trouble written through him like Blackpool Rock. Always has been. Terrible past. Eh, uh, yeah, look, I just need to have a quick word, so I'll catch it up. I'll Michael do you the cappuccino while you're waiting. Well, I'm not having any of that foreign muck. A cup of coffee will do me nicely, thanks, love. <laughs> Julia, pack it in, will ya? Julia! What's the matter? You are! I could do without the Hilda Ogden impressions, thank you very much. Just want a bit of peace and quiet. Well, if you want a bit of peace and quiet, why don't you go and get a pint instead of sitting there with a big, miserable gob? A bit upset about you, but it's ridiculous, really. See you later. See you, love. See you, love. Bye. Bye. I love you and leave you. <laughs> Thank you. 
What's wrong? I don't know what we'll do without her. Everything's changed so much in the past year or so. Julia was the one sort of... Well, constant. Someone who never changed, someone who was always there. Now we'll never see her again, I suppose. Oh, I'm sure we will one day. She'd love to have seen Harry and the new baby. She was so excited about them before she went away. Well, I think it's nice that an old friend like Julia is making a new start. At the same time, we're starting afresh. Won't be the same, though, will it? <laughs> I know, Mrs. Farnham. <laughs> Things will never be the same without Julia. She does seem happy, though, doesn't she? She looks very happy. In a beautiful place like that, with the love of her life, I really hope so.